like you too, too. But you're not gonna leave it on. You're not gonna leave it on. Look at how cute you are, everybody. Oh, you're so cute. You're just sliding it right off your body. But you are adorable. You are so adorable. Okay, okay. <laughs> For this project, you're gonna need some quarter inch elastic, a needle and thread. You're gonna need some tool and a tape measure and your ferret. So we're gonna use Weasel because everyone else is sleeping, but he's about the same size as the girls. So what you wanna do, you wanna take your tape measure you want to put it around your little ferret like this. <laughs> He's, he just woke up, so this is perfect. So we're just going to put it around like this. Put it kind of... Oh. <laughs> kind of tight here. Let's see. Come here. Come here. All right. This is easier said than done. All right. Let's do it real fast. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. We're gonna call that nine. Okay, so now that we've done that, you're gonna wanna get your elastic. I'm using um, quarter inch because they're so little. You wanna, if you're gonna do this with a dog or a cat or something, you're gonna want it to be thicker than this um, because it's just, a quarter inch is not thick enough for larger animals. And then you just want to measure we're gonna go to eight and a half because I feel like he was moving I guess we'll go to nine and we'll see so we'll do this at nine inches but I think that nine is gonna be too big but we're gonna try it so I'm gonna make two you're gonna want to take your band and you're gonna want to put it over like kind of put it like this so overlap it some um, and if you want to clip it so that it stays in place, that's up to you. You can hold it in place, however you got to do this. And then you're going to take your thread. You're going to start from the bottom. And I'm going to try to do this without the clip. And we're just going to sew this. Put your, put your bands aside and get out your tool. All right, so what I would do next is I would either get, it depends on how long. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna have my tutu be about three inches long. For the purpose of being able to work with the tool until the tutu is finished, I'm gonna make my strips a little longer than needed. If you wanna make them just as long as needed, you can use something that's the exact size that you want your, your um, tutu to end up being when you're done. But this is gonna mean that you're gonna be working with six inch strips of tool, which can be a little hard to maneuver if you have fat fingers like mine. So I'm gonna avoid that and I'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger for this next part. So what you wanna do if you wanna work with your tool and make it easy, um, I'm just gonna put this back down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, I this is six inches. Um, you can use cardboard. You don't have to do it this way at all, but this is just kind of like a cheat. I'm making mine longer, like I said, so that it's easier to work with. So we're just gonna go like this. We're gonna wrap this around and we're literally going to just go like this. And we're just gonna wrap this a bunch of times. I'm not really counting. Um, I'll show you why I'm doing this in a second. This makes life a little easier. Just wrap. Try to keep it lined up. All right, I think that's good. All right, 
So now you want to go and you want to take one end, just one end, take your scissors and just cut that end. Perfect. Now you have strips. These will be so much easier to work with um, and we can always trim these down. So I'd set those aside. I'm gonna do my next color because I'm gonna do two colors. Um, I should have picked more to be honest, but I didn't. Um, I'm gonna wrap these. <laughs> one no I didn't all right all right all right now we're just gonna leave those there and put this over here okay the next step because you're making this and you're gonna put it on a small band you don't want it to be this wide it's gonna be weird so I would take a couple pieces at a time um, I cut entirely too much tool by the way um so we're just gonna take like a couple of these and I recommend that you cut these a little bit, um, not as wide. All right, so now you got your little hoops and here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna take a piece of tool You're gonna take it, you're gonna fold it in half like this. You want it to look something like this. You wanna hold at the top. You're gonna to put it inside your hoop. I would start where you sewed so you can cover that. So you're gonna have it look like this. So it's gonna look something like this. You're gonna to wanna to take the tails and you wanna put it through the hoop and then you want to pull now I'm gonna slide this actually we'll do another one it got too tight on me okay and then you can do this in any order you want so again take and you make a hoop you put it through your elastic take your tails you put it through the hoop and slide it wherever you want it before you pull it tight just for my previous lesson and you're gonna do this um, I guess you don't probably want to do it all the way around um, it would be hard for your baby to walk if we did that so I would leave a little opening at the stomach area so that they can walk um, and then you can add in your other colors or however if you want to do multicolor rainbow color however you want to do it. Um, and we're going to trim this down at the end because um, it'll be too long for your little, little babies. So. is your tutu and like I said you can add stuff to it you can do all kinds of stuff if you want it you can make it red and green for Christmas you could do anything so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this down a little bit so that um, I think that's a bit much for your ferret so I'm going to just make it a little shorter um, so that it doesn't look so crazy and we're just literally going to cut it down just I'm going to make it about three inches 